to really tr- capture organic tones, you know, and what we like to do, you know, because the last thing we want to do is sound like a, um, you know, it, it, like a super digital production, you know, even though it is a digital production, it's, it's you know, it's got an organic sound to it. Yeah. So, um, and he was, you know, fuck, we love working with him, you know, he, he, a lot of, he's got a reputation, apparently, a lot of people have told me of being really a hard ass, but, but, you know, he just cares about what he does, and, you know, we yeah. were easy to work with. We had, our last record and this record came off the coattails of him doing the Hate Eternal stuff, and right. um, he, uh, he pretty much considered us like his Valium at the end of that because it's pretty much obviously a stressful situation for him to go in there and record, you know, his own stuff. And, yeah. you know, I, mean, it's, it's, I, I couldn't even imagine what that would feel like. But, um, but you know, for us, it's easy. You know, we just go in there. We got our, he knows our tones. We got a great sound. So he always got to do is get the EQs up and going, and we just yeah. play our thing. And, you know, and he can kind of, you know, relax mentally a little bit somewhat. Right. So, yeah, going to Eric's a smooth fucking thing, man, and hopefully we'll get to go to him again. Right. Um, now, uh, concerning this new album, you guys have said it's a, it's a pretty uh, your most level-headed album to date. Um, how do you mean by that, from your view? Well, I mean, I would say that everybody in, in the band right now is basically just kind of meant when we went in and wrote, we were our, our heads were just a lot clearer. You know, yeah. a lot of the stuff that had been going on, especially within the past few years, it kind of just cleared up a bit and. And, you know, I personally had got a, had to get over a couple of my own personal issues, and I just was able to, come, you know, a lot of the stuff kind of just flowed out a lot better. And, um, and yeah, I mean, we were just, you know, there was no stress involved with this recording or with the, with the writing, and it was just really a smooth process. We went through everything, and, and everything just seemed to work right, and we were happy. Yeah. I mean, there was a little tweaking here and there, but... Um, but I'll definitely say it's our smoothest and most comfortable, positive, creative album you know, atmosphere, writing atmosphere, and stuff like that that we've had in you know shit a long time. Yeah. You know, it's kind of we've we kind of almost came full circle, you know, because we've been through a lot, and right now we're almost back to our we were kind of like stripped of everything and back to where we were when we were kids. Okay. Um, I'm gonna make this the last question. Uh, now. Uh, with, with how this album is, is basically, um, from what I gather, it would be mostly based upon, you know, trying to connect with people who are kind of feeling, I guess, hopeless. And yeah, I'm going to cut you off right there for a second, man, because I think you moved your phone a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry. Like I'm, it's all right, now we go. Now I can hear you. Okay, yeah, you can hear me now. Yeah, I'm, I'm speaking through a real tin can kind of phone, I guess. Um, no, it's okay, man. I just I know you were going on there, man. I didn't want to have to like wait for you to finish and then oh, right, you know, have, repeat. have you repeat it. So I just wanted to stop right there and just okay. you know, go ahead, though, man. Okay. Um, the the question was uh, this is the last question as well. Um, like with this new album, that you, obviously you guys are basing this whole album on, I guess, feeling kind of hopeless. Um, do, do you feel that uh, the, the future is going to brighten up for you guys down the road uh, as a band? Well, I mean, obviously that's that's the plan. I mean, you know, we we the last thing we want to do is you know be you know reduced to jamming in a practice room, even though we would if we were at that level. But you know, we yeah, of course we do. You know, ever it seems like every time we try to go out on the last few records, something stopped us, whether it be a van wreck or yeah. you know somebody's death, you know, a past member or you know obviously the Katrina thing. And hopefully this, you know, we're looking forward to actually getting out and touring, man, because we, we're, we're a great, you know, we're, we're a live band. That's what we like yeah. to do. And, you know, we haven't made it even to Canada yet. You know, we haven't made it to Europe in, you know, in shit, it's got to be five, six years. And, yeah. and you know, we want to get out and play these areas. Actually, we're planning on coming up to Canada, I think, um, with Death Angel sometime. Oh, really? So that's going to be. Yeah, it's going to be a pleasant thing for us because you know we we get correspondence from there all the time and and we just never get a chance to make it up there. So, you know, hopefully, yeah, but we're looking for a bright future. You know, I mean, <laughs> you know, obviously nobody wishes bad upon themselves, that's for sure. So, um, yeah, but definitely that is, that was the theme and that was where our mind was, man. When we were writing this record, we were kind of just kind of like you know. We're doing this for ourselves at this point because there's pretty much no hope in any other direction. You know, yeah. you got to kind of like find your inner strength at that moment. You know? Well, how do you guys feel with um, like what where the internet's going? Um, do, do you see uh, yourselves like not not your label Metal Blade, but I'm talking about yourselves like kind of relying more and more on the you know on your own endeavors through I don't know Facebook, MySpace, or whatever else is avail- available for you. Like, do you see yourselves relying more on that? 
like a DIY well, I mean, attitude? personally, I mean, personally, I mean, it's a, it's a, the internet's a great tool. Obviously, I mean, it's the wave of the future. Shit. Yeah. Um, pretty soon, you're not even going to be able to go to a goddamn CD store and buy a CD. It's all yeah. going to be handled through that eventually. It's, it's it's inevitable. Unfortunately, I'm still a fan of vinyls, yeah. and and you know I'm you know I'm just uh, the old school's still in my blood. So that's that's what I love. Yeah. But um, yeah. but of course we use that tool, and it's very helpful. And you know we do rely on it. You know when you have shows and tours. And we we post them, we get response, we get reactions to people that maybe wouldn't really see it otherwise. So um, there's a lot, you know, it's a huge network out there. And we we yeah. If anybody doesn't use it, then shit, they're just you know inhibiting themselves from doing.